Hey, what's going on guys? Coming back in the year. This is the final part of this Tetris series. And the very last thing left to do here in the game is to provide the logic of removing the blocks. So let's have a look at what we got so far. Let me just go to the part 8. Um, so we have uh, a work in Tetris. Um, however, uh, if we start, uh, well, it's not the best of our piece to consider. Oh, it's the random, the random randomizer is going crazy a little bit sometimes. So here, um, uh, yeah, it's not that simple. Yeah, so here, you see, like this line had to disappear now, but it didn't because we just don't yet have the logic. So in this video, we'll write a logic to track this like lines, erase them, and then the rest of blocks should drop down. So. Without further ado, let's actually start. And let me just go to the end. So, yeah, <laughs> game over. All right. So, um, we'll create a function called remove block. Just looking for a proper place for that function. So, where to go for it? Yeah, let's go for. Doesn't matter really. Yeah, let's go just like here, for instance. So remove remove blocks okay so function remove blocks so it's, it would be working uh either for one or many blocks in here um i want to create the list of uh of, of lines of rows uh of row blocks row blocks to remove okay so let's make a variable remove remove row removed row and this is going to be a list now we do our uh, casual routine that we've been doing a whole lot of times already we need to loop over the rows and the columns uh, get the square so just grab this plus this piece of code so why are you watching me do this forever? Okay, so we have loop over the board rows, loop over the board columns, and we do extract the square here. Uh, and, okay, let's get rid of this uh, and this. So we want to, here I want to create a block. So rad block equals to zero so this is going to be our block counter uh, block counter so literally would be counting like how many uh filled filled blocks we have filled cells we have within a single row um and here i want to consider consider blocks uh while stripping while stripping tetris board walls so when we're going to be calculating so we don't want to calculate this one or this one so we start from here and and here so this one is column greater than zero so column one two three four and this one is column width minus one so we we can do this here so i can say if column and as we are within the column loop is greater than zero and column is less than the width uh, tetris width tetris width minus one so if in this case um whatever we have at the tetris indexed by the square uh so if there is a block if there is a block if there is not an empty an empty an empty space right uh, so if tetris uh, indexed by the square is equal to at symbol and remember that the at symbols is how we represent the tetrominoes so board so uh, walls and the bottom are represented by the hash symbols while the tetrominoes are represented by this at symbol 
right? So we do f uh, have that add symbol there. Um, uh, if we do have this add symbol, we don't need this as well. If we have this, we just say block plus plus. So we want to increment the block count. And now, um, when uh, when we did loop over all all the available columns, we want to say the following. So here, let's say found found line to remove. So in this case, we can say if block is equal to ten, and ten is the width. Uh, of our Tetris. Well, actually, Tetris width is 12 because 10 plus. Um, so let's call it maybe block length, apparently. So we have this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, so let's say uh, const block length uh, equals to 10. So that's the way to go. Uh, if block is equal to the block length, uh, or maybe to call it like, yeah, let's just give it like block length. So this is 10. In this case, we want to append the row, removed row, removed rows, so this should be like plural, dot push, and I'm pushing the current row, this one, that we're currently at and we're going to be relying on this later on in order to uh, in order to find like where where is the exact place so so that we need to drop the whatever is above this row we need to drop all that down all right guys and yes yeah, just for some reason I put the block into the wrong place that obviously needs to be okay it obviously needs to be here yeah block counter before we enter the loop over the columns obviously so uh, now I just want to make sure that we do step into this Part of code and if we do then we'll uh, write a temporary line to highlight the actual line so hopefully that makes sense so now I just want to make sure if we do uh, step in the, into the code that tracks this line that is about to be erased and so that to move all the stuff so now okay why it doesn't go there okay something goes really wrong right okay so I just forgot to actually call this the uh, remove blocks so in the game loop just right after dropping the tetromino here want to remove blocks if any all right so now hopefully now hopefully it would just kind of fire Okay. Um, yes. Okay. Yeah. Oh man, it still doesn't. Oh, so, so strange. So strange. I'm just wondering. Ah, oh, man, I just didn't call the function. What am I doing? <coughs> All right. So try again. Okay, so we got this alert. So we are in that part of the code where, um, so here, so block is equal to 10, which is the block length, All right? Um, oh, it just, uh, <laughs> it did, okay, it just, it auto completed another one, I believe. Um, so here we definitely want to push this but also here is a temporary highlight 
or what I've, uh, I've been mentioning. So let's say for let i uh, is equal to zero, i uh, is less than Tetris, uh, is less than 10 because it's the block width, and i plus plus. Um, now it actually should be one, uh, and it should be less than 12. Yes. Yeah, it should be. And here, I say document. You don't need to type this code to get element. I just want to double check myself by ID. Now, to get, to get the square, we need to take, so we're still within the current row. So, row multiply by Tetris width plus the column. Yes, plus I in this case. So I stands for a column. Dot style dot background color is equal to and let let's make it for as green. So I just wanna paint it to the green. I wanna make the line that is about to be disappearing to be green. So yeah, let's see if this is going to work that's at least the way how I've been debugging okay something is going wrong yeah quite a fun thing it was just green after the game was over uh, surprisingly but yeah what's wrong okay so I just found a little bit better way so instead of doing some uh, it just the reason why this doesn't work it just gets uh, replaced by the next frame already. So let's say instead Tetris indexed by uh, this row multiplied by width and plus i which is the column currently is going to be equal to well it's not it won't be green but let's give it a hash symbol so it would be gray after so we don't care about the particular color all we care about is uh, just to make sure that those exact specific squares we're interested in actually gets altered and gets so they get get distinguished properly they get distinguished properly so and oh man <laughs> it's not that simple game okay anyway so now this line after the tetrometer has this line should be gray and indeed it is so we did distinguish this properly which is good okay so now this line should be gray it should be gray and indeed it is so all these gray lines are about to be disappearing next so that's that would be our next goal but for now just want to make sure that all right okay so you see like all it just just finds them properly which is already kind of good news so those that he can get rid of to become gray and those can't so yeah i hope this is clear and now yeah let's just make the game over uh, so now we don't now we no longer need this uh, so this was the temporary logic I just delete this and literally here all I need is just to push this removed rows so that's the only purpose that we need okay and here we actually want to move the rest of blocks down now the way i'm doing this is probably not the most efficient ever but uh i just duplicate this loop here just duplicate the loop um i can make it a bit shorter now like this the only difference is that the column would be starting from one and it's less than tetris with minus one just like we did previously for our test so to make sure that we target only 
like from here and up to here and not touching anything else so that's that's essential so the game over already right okay and now alternatively uh no sorry not alternative now additionally we need to loop over this list of the removed rows uh from the row and up to the very first one so we need to loop from let's say from this row and up to the very top of the tetris board so to make sure that everything is that is there would then drop down so we have uh, an additional loop here so i can say for let let's call it shift row uh is equal to now uh we need to make use of this remove rows removed rows indexed by row and here already this is something that may be really confusing because uh, well, first of all the remove rows indexed by row the row is equal to well let's say um uh, I, I don't know but whatever number so most likely we're not going to be removed all 20 rows right so it might go off the indexing range but in javascript this this is handled automatically and it's not a big deal really so this this sort of a hack is something that we can use here to to get the job done then we can say the shift row shift row is greater than one and finally shift row minus minus so here uh, an important thing that we're going from so we need to make sure that we walk through all all of the shift rows that we have there and I don't know probably um, so it's better to call this one the shift row index and yeah uh, I believe that I would probably make it like shift row dot length I think this is a bit more precise way of doing things uh, and this one uh, let's go let's call it row index row index and the year row index just just to avoid just to avoid any confusions and now let's uh, define the let's call it shift square it's going to be equal to shift row multiplied by tetris with again the same plus call this column is this column is still the same and now the main thing so to the board uh, sorry to the Tetris indexed by the shift square which is the current one so let's say let's say this one for instance uh, let's say this one for instance so we want to put whatever we have in one square up which is shift square, shift square minus width and minus tetris width so we want to put this element here this element here this element here this element here no matter if this is the empty space or the filled one uh this one here this here and so on and for this one for instance we just put this here this here this here and this here and this kind of works for for the whole board so Tetris indexed by the shift square is equal to Tetris um, shift square minus Tetris width. So here, let's say replace uh, current square within within a row uh, by the content of the above square so this is very similar to what we do when we write in a chess engine when we want to move a piece from the source square to the target square and then we want to clear the context uh, contents uh, then we want to clear contents of uh, the one square above of the one of the one row above square 
So here Tetris indexed by the shift square minus Tetris width is going to be empty to empty and that's it. So this means that this goes here and on its place we're having an empty space. So whatever, so we move this line and instead of this line we'll have an empty space. So that's how it works. Now let's actually test it. So <laughs> I really hold my hold my breast now. Um, and if we did everything properly then already we should have a working Tetris. I really hope for that. Yeah, so the pieces are not the most fortunate ever. Okay. All right. And two two guys two lines should now disappear so not touching anything <laughs> nothing happens and probably no it does it did something does did this result in error yeah okay row is not defined so there, there was a sort of an error there uh, so where the row is not defined 278 278 yeah row index obviously one more time go in one more time okay can you believe this so it's so already yeah let's go like this my god can we can we already play a full-blown tetris it seems like we do and the bottom one should disappear and it does okay so now okay was this okay actually uh, I'm not sure okay this one is fine so now now this one should disappear this one should disappear okay and now this one should disappear okay yeah when I, when I play I just can't yet track everything so yeah, I probably need to pause the video recording and make 100% sure that it works as expected because when I play I kind of don't yet see if this is really for the simple ones I can see but the more complicated ones well it, it seems generally it seems like it's exactly how it should be however uh, I really need to make sure it is okay Sorry guys, I'm just getting so addicted to, to the game when I play Tetris. So. <laughs> Sorry, I just can't hold myself. Um, yeah. yeah. It just happens without an animation. So yeah, I believe that's the reason why sometimes it might seem not exactly how it should be. However, it should be fine. Okay, one disappears, one disappears here, here. Okay, doesn't disappear. No, this disappears. Okay, well, it feels it feels correct mostly I don't know maybe maybe I'm missing some minor errors because this implementation is a little bit different uh, to what I was drafting initially okay yeah I probably just need to watch to watch the video when I finish recording just to make sure if everything is is fine there and if there are, if there are any bugs or like inaccuracies I'll just fix them and the code, the source code would already contain the the fixes from there. 
penny. But I think that generally it should be it should be quite fun. Okay, guys. Yeah, um, I think that we can safely consider this kind of works properly. And as for nitty gritty bells and whistles, like adding scoring, uh, adding um, the speed being in, uh, being increased when the certain score has been reached or the certain number of lines has been trashed, let's say that all that can be done quite easily and it doesn't really uh, regards to the Tetris game programming and so, so I think that you are you're good enough to implement this on your own uh, from my side uh, I can say that I was dreaming about the Tetris that uh, doesn't have levels and I was never looking for a big score uh, the only thing why I've been playing Tetris <laughs> in my life is because I really love the idea of the never-ending process so what I really like the most is that I can play as long as I want so the game never never kind of finishes basically so this this makes it look like look like life because yeah you can live your life trying to achieve some goals going for results but that's really exhausting and I believe that we would live in a better world if we don't do that and instead just trying to <coughs> enjoy the process itself rather than going for a result that's my personal opinion but that's that's enough to actually leave this Tetris implementation as is because I really want to have the game that one can play forever and not caring about the score yes because in the life are you getting score in the life I don't think so in the life it's just a matter of whether it was satisfying or not whether it was worth it or not and when you're about to die I don't think you would be thinking about the points you've got within the life and I can hardly believe you would have be counted the money that you've earned instead I believe something that everyone would actually be thinking about is how much did we have fun how likely did we enjoy our lives and I want this Tetris game to represent exactly the same thing just trying to last forever that's basically that's basically all I want that's basically all I want to have so playing as long as we want so this is it from my side guys I hope you've enjoyed this uh, series on how to program a Tetris absolutely from scratch in bare JavaScript thanks for watching until the next time and take care